Now what is dynamic programming? To understand the concept of dynamic programming, you need to understand this example first. Suppose we have a Fibonacci sequence given here and we have to find the fifth element in that sequence. As we know the formula for finding the Fibonacci sequence is f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. So for f of 5 the function will return f of 5 minus 1 which is n minus 1 and f of n minus 2 which is 5 minus 2. In a tree like structure you can uh, visualize the Fibonacci sequence like this like at the top we have f of 5 then f of 5 will return f of 4 and f of 3 which came from n minus 1 and n minus 2 4 will return 4 minus 1 which is 3 and 4 minus 2 which is 2 so f of 2 for f of 3 will return f of 2 and f of 2 will return f of 1 and f of 0 in this way the whole hierarchy of Fibonacci sequence gets constructed now can you identify the problem here all the red functions are repeating itself again and again and in that function also the sub functions are also getting repeated like here f2 is getting called for first time and again the f2 is called second time and for the third time in the third block in the left part of function f5 as you can see f3 function is getting called and its sub functions f2 is getting called and inside that sub function f2 again f1 is called and in the right side of that uh, f function f5 f3 is again calling f2 f2 is again calling f1 so as you can see the problem here the same function is getting repeated again and again the repetition of same functions again and again is happening here so that's what can be solved using a dynamic programming now the question is how dynamic programming solves this repetition problem basically what dynamic programming do is it calls all the function one by one like f5 f4 f3 f2 f1 and f0 and stores those function into the table and whenever we need those functions again in future we use those function from the table and use it reuse it again so this will save much time for the program for example here we have only the fifth element suppose we have to find the 500 element 5000 element so in that case it, it becomes very complex to call all the functions repeatedly again and again and it is not a situable approach so that's why dynamic programming solves this problem it looks like this first uh, first entries which were called for the first time all the entries were stored into the table and again when we know, need those function at the sixth entry we reuse them from these tables that is dynamic programming which divides the big problem into the sub problem which divides the big problem into the sub problem and also avoids the unnecessary repetition of function that is what the main advantage of using dynamic programming is i hope you got the concept how dynamic programming works and what is dynamic programming for more such learning videos, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Codesify and thank you for your time.